Hey everybody, Burry Gutter here. It's Tuesday again, so that means... <laughs> Your story, Slate. That's Jag Talker now. Nudity on Slick Paper. So since Halitober is over, we wanted to get something out of the way because it's been looming over us. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. This one's kind of been... Like religion does. <laughs> yeah, for real. But this one's kind of been around in our minds a lot, so we just want to get it fucking over and done with. It is Star Trek Episode 2. Oh. So if you haven't already, go back and watch our review of Star Trek Episode 1, because they have improved between episodes. <laughs> and we'll talk about those improvements <laughs> in a second. <laughs> but just like last time, it starts with The Discipleship Presents, and they straight up rip off the Star Trek theme, like last time. The final frontier. William Shatner should find these dudes, choke them out. While the Enterprise is flying around with its fucking John 316 yeah, banner. Yeah, would that flag rip off <laughs> when they go into hyperdrive? We wouldn't it just burn off like this? <laughs> But yes, the Enterprise here is hanging out over top of the planet Moy Moy. Moy Moy. And there is Kirk and a red shirt. There's Isn't no it something with what's his name used to say, um, Jar Jar. Moy Moy. Is that what I don't think so, but just as annoying either way. Well, just like religion. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying, we got Kirk, the same crap Kirk as before, and a red shirt that wasn't in it before. The one who talks like a ass. <laughs> but besides that, the one major improvement in this whole entire fucking thing, there's no fucking awful Scotty. No at Scotty all. at all. No. Thank fucking you got, God. All you got is Kmart Garth from Wayne's World. <laughs> well, we didn't get to him yet because, like I was saying, Kirk and Red Shirt here are getting ready to transport. So, second improvement. Effects. They got effects. <laughs> but anyway, here. Well, when you're stealing money off of old people promising them the, you know, the afterlife of gold, they're going to give you all their money. Yeah, and, and you can spend can, it on crap and you fucking can effects. you to buy special effects and shit to spread your <laughs> words of fake Jeebus. So anyway, they beam down, and they are now on the planet Moy Moy, which is the exact same stage, only with some plants in the corner. Right. So they come out from behind the plants, and Kirk is fat. Like actual now Shatner fat. <laughs> Actually, I think Shatner's more in shape than both these dudes. At 90. Oh, he's got a pretty big gut. <laughs> he does. He's 90. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, here, the red shirt, you know, and Kirk are talking, and, you know, he said, well, here. My PCO is getting some strange readings on the planet's surface. Crewman number 37, what is a PCO? Well, first of all, my name is Lenny. See, this red shirt has a name, but, you know, the joke like in Star Trek, you know, red shirts never survive, even though this guy does. He does. But he only gets the name Crewman 90 or 39 Something or whatever. Like that. But through the power of the genius, he don't die. But he uses his PCO. This is a planet checker outer. Yes, it, it checks the planet's surface for any of the things that we might be afraid of. Yeah. Piece his, of shit. His planetary checker outer. Oh, Jesus. And Kirk finds a black wall and is really impressed by it. Black wall. Blacker than the darkest night. Who knows what kind of anything is hidden beneath it. Could it be a beast of some sort that no one has ever seen? This planet is full of savages. And then Garth from fucking Wayne's World comes out with a leg grown out of his hip. Comes out and addresses them. Greetings, tall space-like creature. We come in peace. Please don't hurt me. Dude. Here on planet Moy Moy, we do not hurt. We play. I am the leader here on planet Moy Moy. I am Moy Alto. He's like, whoa, dudes, what are you doing here? And they're like, we're here to spread the word of Jeebus. Well, no, they didn't get into that quite yet because Garth here explains the planet. Do they do just like they do when they go over to Africa and they send their little fuckers from here over to there and teach them how to hate gays and kill people in the streets if they're gay? But, but then we don't secretly know that. Anyway, like I was saying, he explains the planet. Well, here on planet Moy Moy, Anything you want is yours to have. You see, our trees produce most anything you want. Would you like some pizza? There's a tree for that. Would you like an Xbox? There's a tree for that. 
Whatever you want, the trees have it, dude. Trees in their tree have any poor places with black people that we can exploit with our religion to have them kill their neighbors if they think they're gay and chop their fucking heads off in the streets. But it's all about love and happiness. But fuck anyway, you religion, fuck you. Plants sorry. and trees, they grow everything. I'm sorry. Yeah. So these are the things that Kirk wants. I could play the newest Star Trek game on the Wii all I want, or eat fried bologna and spam sandwiches with cheese and mushrooms as much as I want until I pop. This is the life. <laughs> I just want to be laid once. It's like, well, maybe stop doing the religion thing. So Red Shirt here, he figures out something is wrong with the planet and the air. Captain! We've got to get out of here. Get out of here. What are you talking about? This place is amazing. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The air here on Moi Moi, it's, it's doing something to you. It's making you change your mind. I don't know what you're talking about, Crewman 73. This place is awesome. See, that's exactly it. Do you even remember why we came here? Yeah, it's making Kirk forget about Jesus, so that seems all perfectly fine and dandy to me. Yeah, where's this air at? We should send it through this whole fucking country. But anyway, Red Shirt can't have this, you know, people being happy. Oh, he so can't he have that. calls up to Scotty and has them beam him down a Bible. The ruiner of Thank all fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please send down a Bible. He's enjoying life. Like, we want him to go door to door and be miserable. So anyway, the red shirt here, you know, reads some gobbledygook to Kirk. Look in the book of 1 Corinthians 2.12. It says that we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things God has, God has freely given us. Listen, it says, and, and then it mentions in verse 16. It says, we understand these things, for we have the mind of Christ. And it fixes Kirk's head with a spirograph. I love these <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> these fuckers that do show up to your doorstep, and everything you say to them, they have an answer for it. In Corinthians, verse 7, 7, 12, Jesus says, You know what's great? That he said Corinthians in this, and that's all you could come up with the whole time. You're like, Corinthians, Corinthians, Corinthians. Corinthians. <laughs> I don't because I fucking care. I gave two fucking shits, but. They have an answer for everything in there. So, yeah, what do they do? They give the Bible to Garth, because that's what they do. You know, this dude was perfectly fine and happy on a planet with trees that gave him everything he needed, but no, you need the word of Jeebus. Yeah, yeah, you got everything, but if you don't have this dude... But anyway, yeah, so Garth's like, all right, cool, I'm going to read the Bible, and we're all going to be Jesus lovers now. Yay. So, Garth walks off, this happens. Hey, Muy alto. Righteous! Righteous! <laughs> Garth walks off and kills the whole entire village because that's what Jesus said he should do. So anyway, Kirk and Richard have a very strange need to play air guitar. And I have a strange urge to play an air guitar. Let's do it! <laughs> So now they get beamed up. The Enterprise, you know, is flopping around again. I was kind of hoping it'd be like Fly 2, where they fucked up and they showed up and they were all like melted together. Like, Whoa! yeah, that would have been a fucking amazing ending. Yeah. But uh, the, the ending we get is, yeah, they're on the Enterprise flopping around while they stole the Star Trek ending theme. And that's it! it they, they were in the ship flopping around. <laughs> <laughs> And then they hit a star and blow up. I wish. Wouldn't but yeah, nice? that was the end. And we are done with Star Trek, thank fucking God. We just yeah. we, we had to get it out of the way. Had yeah. to, because... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice, though, that this episode was nice and short after the, you know, hour-long fucking Halloween commercial one, and then yeah. us having to watch Elvira's awful, awful... Ew, Is it pretty bad that I kind of enjoyed this more than the Elvira fucking pilot? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, religion's dumb and makes you laugh, so... And the Elvira and the show that, did not, so... Yeah, <laughs> the people that follow it make you laugh even harder, you know? And on that note, for Bird Gutter, we'll see you next week. Religion. Yeah? Who likes it? Religion. Good God, y'all. What <laughs> is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. I bet Moore never thought about that, whatever they were writing.
war. Yeah, they probably should have, but whatever. Oh, just like so when those I guess Bird's done. Just like when those people are doing yeah. that fucking adding I'm, stuff. I'm going to pull Ron Coons. <laughs> <laughs>